Hello. Today on the bench we have a Bofang UV-5RA handheld FM dual band transceiver. This radio covers the VHF UHF bands. And I call it the Bofang disposable radio. The uh, friend of mine dropped this by complaining about no receive. Um, you turn the radio on. You don't hear anything. Uh, you mash the monitor button. You see the green light comes on. The LCD turns blue, showing it's receiving. But nothing coming from the speaker. So why do we call this a disposable radio? Well, that's because the first one that comes up on eBay is $29.99. And if you're not into electronics and you have to take this somewhere to have it repaired, it's probably going to cost you more than $29.99 to have it fixed. So you chunk this one in your junk box and order you a new one. So we'll tear this one apart and see if we can figure out why it has no audio. So to get into this radio, turn it off, we'll remove the knobs, take the antenna off, slide the battery off. We'll need to remove these two screws these two screws and there's a nut under the volume and antenna port so with all the screws and the nuts removed simply lift up this the battery lock will fall out Put a wedge here and pry up on it And you should be able to pull the radio right out of the case. And there we are. So we know the radio is receiving, it just doesn't have any audio output going to the speaker. So the first thing you do is inspect the wiring going to the speaker. We'll pull off this tab. Set it aside. And we'll look and make sure that everything's connected. On the side of the radio is a speaker and mic connector. And my friend told me that he has never plugged anything into it. So we can pretty much say that the jacks are fine. <laughs> if you use the jacks a lot, the jack can break away from the circuit board. I've already looked at this under a microscope and I see no breaks around the uh, solder connections. All that looks good. So I have the radio sitting on the battery. And it's dialed into, looks like, no weather and I hit the monitor there's nothing coming out of the speaker so the first thing I want to do is test this speaker okay I have the single generator connected to the SMA port with the antenna and I've soldered two small wires across the speaker and connect an external speaker. So we'll power this up and see if the radio has anything. So we can see the radio is working. So the problem is in this little speaker. I removed the speaker from the case and the voice call fell off. 
um, it's no longer attached to the frame of the speaker. I don't know if you can see here, but there's two very tiny wires that come out this edge. And they come up the other side and are sorted to these pads. So that is the failure of the speaker. I've got this under the microscope now. And you can see the two wires from the voice core. Very, very tiny wires. And you can see right there where it comes up over the edge of the cone, the two wires are snapped in half. So probably the best thing now is to go online and try to find a replacement speaker. But just for giggles, I'm going to try to repair this one. Here I'm using a Zacto knife to get the two small wires from the voice coil separated. Use the soldering iron to heat the ends of them and applied solder and that burnt the insulation off. These are uh, in coated wires so I added two small wires and we're going to run it through and put them on the other side and sort them down and see if we can get any response out of the speaker. This being a 16 ohm speaker we should have close to 16 ohms on the coil. We're going to test that and see before we go taking the time to route these wires, cut them off, and sort them to the uh, termination points. And we're showing about 15.0 ohms. That's close enough. The total snowfall for the season still stands at 0, 0.0 inches. The normal high temperature for today is 51 degrees, and the normal low is 31. The record high for today is 72, which occurred in 1929, and the record low is 5, which occurred in 1917. Sunrise today was at 7.25 a.m. Well, there you go. The Vofang UV5RA disposable radio is now working, and this one does not have to be thrown in the trash. Um, I wouldn't expect that you would want to take a radio like this to a repair shop that is in business to make money because they have to make money to stay in business and if you carry this to a shop they might charge you anywhere from 35 to 75 dollars to just uh, replace a speaker and if you're into electronics as you can see I was able to fix this one without buying anything although I will order a replacement speaker as soon as I can find one online and put it back in in case this one fails again which I don't really think it will so anyway with that I hope you enjoyed the little simple repair this will be my last video probably for 2015 because it goes out today and if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do there'll be more to come in 2016 so we'll see you then and have a good day